Hi, this is Isaac from Compositional IT. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to install and start using F Sharp on .NET Core. Now in this video, I'm using Linux on an Azure Virtual Machine, but there's another screencast that shows the same thing on Windows 10, if that's what you're using. Note that this is a completely clean virtual machine that I've just deployed from Azure. There's no software that I've pre-installed. The only thing that you need to start building F Sharp applications on Linux is the .NET Core SDK. In Firefox, I'm going to search for download.NET Core and then choose the first result that appears. Then I'm going to pick the install.NET Core SDK option. Notice that the website has already detected that I'm on Linux. Now I'm running Ubuntu 18 here, so that's the distribution I'm going to pick to get the instructions. I'm now going to open the terminal and execute the five commands listed here one at a time. The last one can take a little while to execute. On a quad-core D-series VM in Azure, it took around 90 seconds. Now I'm going to create a directory called code and then another one called hello world and cd into it. Just to prove that .NET Core is correctly installed, I'm going to try calling the .NET command. And as you can see, it's coming back with something. I'm now going to create a console application in F Sharp by typing .NET new console dash lang F Sharp. The dash lang F Sharp bit is important. Without it, we'll just create a C Sharp application instead. Now that it's done, you can see that two files have been created, program FS and hello world FS proj. Let's take a quick look at program FS. It's a small application that prints the text hello world from F Sharp to the console. To run it, I'm just going to type .NET run. As you can see, there's the output. That's the end of this screencast. In other screencasts in this series, we'll be looking at working with the .NET project system, F -sharp scripts, and dedicated IDEs that provide better support for working with F -sharp than Nano. Thanks for watching.